It's Mad World. And what's to be mad about when the world is this good? This is the feel-good hit of the summer. Except that it came out in the spring, but that doesn't matter. Because it still makes you feel good when you play Mad World. What you doing? I'm talking to the people! I'm breaking it down! Ah! God! Bitch! I'm gonna pimp smack your ass when I get... Oh! 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 The rules of the Terminator Challenge are pretty simple. Grab as many enemies as possible and toss them into the challenge. Oh, 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 oh. Smells like barbecue. It seems like people are always complaining about the lack of action-packed, violent games on the Nintendo Wii. I think that someone's answered your prayers. Everybody get this ass kicked by Jack. Raise your hand. Oh wait. He can't raise his hand, can he? Air today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> Mad World is published by Sega, who's also brought us the excellent House of the Dead Overkill this year pushing the Wii to new limits with games that are certainly not for young children. Man, dog. We need no bad. Hell yeah. Go, go. This game is rather uplifting, as you can see. It's an excellent video game, a lot of fun, completely over-the-top mayhem, and done in a really cool visual style, which actually works quite well with the visual style of the Wii and the unique control system. Smashing people in the head with a garbage can, sticking a signpost through their forehead, and then impaling them onto a spike is surprisingly fun and entertaining with the Wii controller. It's a really nice black and white graphic novel comic book style like Sin City. In fact, this whole game reminds me of Escape from New York. Mixed with The Running Man and the comic book Hard Boiled, this game revels in its excessiveness on all levels. Excessive violence, excessive gore, excessive mayhem. And it works because of that, because of the high contrast, unique black and white visual style where they emphasize the red for the blood which fills the screen. It's almost cartoonish in that respect. Today I'm bringing y'all a recipe for good times. Just toss some G's ass in the press when the time is right. You got a bloody Sunday. Just don't get tossed in the punch yourself, baby. You feel me? Hey, mama. Look at go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 hell no. You get so used to the black and white, and while there's a bit of yellow here and there, the red just pops out and amplifies the carnage. If it was ultra realistic, I think it would be more disturbing. And the control system really makes you get into the action of the game. The controls aren't ideal, it does take a bit of time to get used to running around and grabbing things. And the scoring system is based on multipliers, which at times I thought slowed down the gameplay, but it's also really interesting to see how you can pile things onto people. Like you can shove a tire over them, and then stick a signpost through them, and then light them on fire. That gives you more points than if you just, say, cut them in half with a chainsaw. 
That adds to the replay value because the first time I played through levels, I just tried to play through them and, and survive. The second time I would play through them, I was going for higher scores by by seeking out new ways to get combos or, or multipliers. It's really more of a multiplier system. You get points for punching them, and then as you explore the levels, there's a lot of things you may miss the first time. Like you can hit somebody in the head, then shove a firecracker down their throat, and then throw them into a sign to electrocute them. I don't think anybody should complain about a lack of excellent games on the Nintendo Wii when we have games like Mad World, House of the Dead Overkill, and Mario Kart Wii. I think Nintendo has done an excellent job making the Wii appeal to the widest possible audience because it makes them more money. Also you get some more obscure games that you wouldn't get elsewhere. That's a very positive thing about the Nintendo Wii and the Nintendo DS. They're not just getting any one kind of game, they're getting a lot of really wild stuff and stuff out of Japan. And admittedly, there's some shovelware that comes along with it. So just ignore that and don't buy it. Nobody, nobody's forcing you to spend your money on a game you don't want to buy. However, you would be mad not to buy Mad World. This game is something else. Your life ends here. It's a lot of fun. It has a wild story that really does remind me of the, of the Running Man meets Escape from New York. It uses the controls well to physically get you into the gameplay. And if you like what you see on screen, trust me, it's twice as fun playing Mad World. It's a great time to be a Nintendo Wii owner. If you have any complaints, take them out on somebody in this game with a chainsaw. Just make sure you try to rack up some uh, some multipliers by also shoving a signpost through their head, impaling them or lighting them on fire. There's, there's really unlimited possibilities. It's about making friends. No, it's not. For them. You think there's a civilian still alive? You think this is living? <laughs> His ears must be ringing. Well, it's hard to tell since they're nowhere near his body. 